What's up guys, it's Ralph Misha and welcome to another pack opening video. Today as you can see I have the new, or when this goes up it probably won't be so new, but I do have the uh, most recent tin that's come out, uh, the Eternatus V tin, a Pikachu V and an EVV, that's a lot of Vs to say, tin also came out at the same time. I picked up the Eternatus V so I think it's the most playable of the three. Uh, also, the tin's pretty cool looking. I also picked up a pack of Darkness of Blaze to go with it as well, just because I wanted it a nice round number. So, we're going to have a look at this. I'll bring it up so you can have a closer look at the actual tin, and we'll take out the promo as well. So, there's a Pikachu on this side, Eternatus here at the top, and there's an Eevee there. And then there's the back, so you can read the back if you want. There you go, you can pause it. So I am going to open this up, take everything out, show you what's in there, and uh, yeah. So here's everything we get in the tin. We of course get the Eternatus V promo, which it is a promo number. Uh, so it's promo number SWSH064. Blimey. Um, I think it's a different artwork to the one that comes in the Darkness of Blaze set, but it is exactly the same in terms of attacks. So this is a kind of easy easy way of getting um, Eternatus to play. Um, again, there's also the premium collection box to get the Eternatus VMAX, which I will link the video to that in the description below. Um, but really nice promo card, uh, very playable. The hollow one is actually really cool. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well. But, um, yeah. We have the promo card, which I will put on top of the tin. <laughs> the code card, which I will be redeeming online so that I have an Eternatus. So apologies for anybody who wants the code card, but I will be keeping that. And then we have four packs that come in here. We have two Darkness Ablaze, one Sword and Shield Blaze, and one Sun and Moon Base, which is been a long time since I opened Sun and Moon. Uh, we're going to add in our extra pack as well, so that's going to give us five packs to work with. Put the tin, let's put it over here with the promo. Um, and yeah, I suppose we should probably crack into these five packs and see if we can get anything. I think the best thing that I would want out of Sun and Moon base would be the gold switch, because it's still relevant and playable. So, I'm going to get rid of the code. Oh, listen, I don't know if you can see that on this card here, which I believe is an uncommon. There's some whitening already in this, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, energy, yeah. So, sun and moon base. This is, feels really old now, you know, sun and moon base. I mean, it's 2017, so it's three years old. Um, so a little bit of nostalgia. <laughs> One of the first sets I really got to play with, actually. So there is a Parasect Reverse and a Bruxish Regular Rare. Let's do a bit of sorting. Most of that's probably going to go into bulk. So <laughs> we jump from Sun and Moon Base to Sword and Shield Base. We jump, I think, two entire blocks forward. Um, the Sun and Moon, Ultra Prism, Team Up, yeah, three blocks actually, like sh Sword and Shield Base, it's actually, yeah, an entire, yeah. sorry, I'm just rambling here, let's just get through these packs, <laughs> Snom, Grookey, Shelter, Mawal, Galarian Ponyta, Quick Balls, put that one to the side, always need Quick Balls, Mantine, Dotler, Turtonate Reverse, got there pretty quick, and a Cloister Regular Rare. Um, there we go. Let's do that. Put the Quick Ball there. Uh, and now we have three three Darkness and Blaze. Let's see if we can pull anything good out of this. Apologies if you could hear the uh, motorbike. That's my neighbour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Energy. One, two. Oh, no, that's the Rare. <laughs> No, reverse hollow, sorry. So, Darkness of Blaze. We have Skarmory, Cubchoo, 
Wimpod. Poltergeist. Yay, some more mad parties. Although I already have four Poltergeist now, so that one can go in my binder. Glimwood Tango. Is a really nice card. Reverse Gola. And the rare is a Mimikyu. Non hollow rare. Start stacking some things in different ways. I don't really know. So we've got two Sizzlipede packs left. This one is the last pack from the tin. Let's see if we can actually pull anything from the tin. It would be nice if we could. One, two, three. Energy. I'm trying to do it so I can't feel anything. Right, so Mr. Mine, Grimer, Clink, Skitty, Pansage, Parasect, Toxapex, Big Parasol, the reverse is a Minetric, which is a reverse rare, and the rare. Oh my god! Oh, I'm not even going to put the sound effect here for this. This is my fifth. Galarian Stunfisk and I just literally got rid of three of them so I had a playset um, I'm just gonna I'm actually just I'm gonna throw it apparently I'm gonna move on uh, <laughs> Wow Apparently all I can pull from Darkness Ablaze is Galarian Stunfisk Not to mention that there are so many other cards that I need to pull would like to pull many many other GX's GX's V's um, for example Crobat Crobat would be really nice um, I already have a Crobat but I would like one to actually play so my full art is sitting in my binder so let's see if we can get anything other than Galarian Stumpfist we've got a couple of mad part ears <laughs> Sinistee Relicanth, Spilus, Familiar Belt. I think that's only like the second or third Familiar Belt that I've pulled, which is kind of weird. Uh, Reverse Snowball and a Breaks, uh, Breaks in, a Blaziken Hollow. So, wow. Um, I don't really know what to say about this opening, to be honest. Am I happy that I got an Ultra Rare? I probably should be. Um, but in all fairness, this is worth probably less than half the value of the promo card. So, uh, we're going to end it here with a fifth glare in Stunfisk, guys. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Let me know in the comment section down below, how many glare in Stunfisks have you pulled? Um... Because there's no way anybody's pulled as many as I have. Uh, I must just attract Galarian Stunfisk, which is a shame I don't attract Crobat. Uh, <laughs> but share this video with your friends as well if you think you uh, may know somebody who will enjoy this or just have a laugh at the fact that I've pulled so many Galarian Stunfisk. In fact, go back in my Darkness Ablaze uh playlist and just have a look i'll link it in the description below just see how many times i've pulled it it's actually beyond a joke so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it guys i will see you in the next video peace